Welcome to the MAKE course. I'm Rudy Schlaf. This tutorial is about binary numbers. I will discuss what are binary numbers, why do computers use them, and how to convert binary numbers to decimal numbers. Before we get started, let me point out that you need to know how to use the serial port with the Arduino. If you don't know how to do that, then I invite you to visit eeawesome.com and watch the first uh, four videos, and video number four here that tells you how to use the serial port with the Arduino. So before we start playing with the Arduino, let me introduce binary and decimal numbers. So usually we count in the so-called base 10 system, and the reason for that is of course the number of fingers that we have. Each digit that we have in a number represents 10 different numbers. And so that's the base 10 aspect. And so if we have a number like 9214, of course, you can interpret this as 9000 plus 200 plus 10 plus 4. And so in a systematic way, if we look at the base 10 aspect, we can say it's 4 times 10 to the power of 0. And that is, of course, 4 times 1. And so we get 4. So this is our first digit here. Then we add 1 times 10 to the power of 1 and that is 1 times 10 and so we get here 4 plus 10 and now we go on we say uh, here 2 times 10 to the power of 2 that's 200 and 9 times 10 to the power of 3 that is 9000 and so if we add all this up then we have our total number here 9214 so if we switch over to computers computers we can think of of having only two fingers Right, you probably know by now that they only have on and off, 5 volts or 0 on the Arduino, 1 or 0, and so they count in a base 2 system. And so if we simply translate this concept now to the base 2 system, we can say that a binary number like 1110 is simply 0 times 2 to the power of 0 and that is 0 times 1 and that gives us a 0 and so we have a 0 here and then we go on to the second digit that is 1 times 2 to the power of 1 and 2 to the power of 1 is of course 2 so we get 1 times 2 and that is 2. Now we add 1 times 2 to the power of 2 and that is 4 right and then we add 1 times 2 to the power of 3 and that is 8 and so if you add all of this up you get 14 and so this here is the binary representation of 14. Okay let's see what this means for integer variables. If you define an integer variable in an Arduino sketch you get 16 bits that you can fill with ones and zeros. They're shown here and so the first eight bits are called the least significant byte and the Remaining 8 bits at the upper end of the number, they are called the most significant byte, right? Because they contain larger numbers. Down here, I show the base 2 numbers that we just uh, learned to calculate on the previous slide. And that tells us that the first uh, bit here, that contains the value 1 if it's set. If the second bit is set, it contains 2. And then we have 4, 8, 16, 32. And you see the scheme here, every time it doubles, right, as we go on to higher bits. And we end up here at 32,768. So the biggest number that you can put into this 2-byte integer variable is, of course, by setting all bits to a 1. The number that corresponds to that you can get by adding up all the base 2 numbers that we just calculated. And so if you do that for a 16-bit number, the biggest number that you can put into this variable is 65,535. If you do the same just for one of the bytes, then you add up from 1 to 128, and if you do that, you will get 255. So that is the largest number you can put into a single byte. Okay, time to play with the Arduino. I start out in my sketch for this tutorial by defining a byte variable called i. And you know now this is a variable that has just 8 bits, so the biggest number it can contain is 255. In the setup, I start a serial port, 
and then in the main loop all I do is incrementing that variable i by 1 every time we go through the loop and then I print it as a decimal number and then as a binary number followed by a line feed and then waiting for uh, 250 milliseconds, a quarter second and then we do the next number. So let's see what happens. Let me upload this and start the serial monitor. And so you see here it started here 1112103111 one, 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 and so forth. And now let's see what happens as these numbers get bigger. So you see here, every time we hit one of those base 2 numbers, like 64, we have a 1 followed by zeros. I should also point out that the numbers, that the zeros that are before the first uh, 1, they are being omitted in this printout. This is why the number gets longer and longer, the closer we get to 255. So we're almost there now. So now you see how it slowly fills up with 1s and here at 255 we had 111 and now it starts again at 0. Okay, now you know what binary numbers are. This concludes my video. Thanks for watching.